What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I'm bringing you guys something a little bit interesting that I found. Someone mentioned this to me on Twitter so I was wondering about the legitimacy of it. Now it's from a news source called My Nintendo News but it does have backup sources which are on the Smash boards, NeoGoff and all of that. And um, it says that it looks as if though Smash Brothers um, 3DS could be getting stage DLC. Now let's go into more specifics because there's this image here and um, I don't know, I didn't exactly understand exactly what the image was trying to portray, but let's save it to the computer so that way I can um, know what the fuck's going on. Um, let's turn this thing around. Okay, so as of looking at the image right here, you don't really see anything too strange, except for maybe this off thing, you know? So what does this mean in particular? Let's take a look at the article. So <clears throat> a user of the Smash Boards has discovered that additional stage that the Wait a minute, what? A user of the Smash Boards has discovered, so I'm guessing that's going to be a source right there, let's go to that, that additional stage downloadable content could be coming to the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros. The content was found within the Super Smash Bros. 3DS ROM dump. Here are the details that the user found so far. The following text appears in the Smash ROM dump. Set the stages that won't appear, even when the selection is set to random. All off, all on, turn all stages off, Make all stages available when using random stage selection. See stages you have downloaded. See all regular stages. Select off to exclude the stage from the random stage selection. And select on to include the stage in random stage selection. It matches the stage selection and additional rules perfectly. Um, also note that there's the missing square, just like the stage selection screen, where you can select the DLC. Oh man, so this stage, I, I guess they're, they're referencing this part, which will be where the DLC will be which is, oh man, okay, so um, it matched, also no, oh okay, so thanks to those who sent this, so let's take a look at the source, so um, Super Smash Bros, if we go here, okay, this is just showing us the article again, so um, alright, so Smash Brothers, on um, this is Neogoth, by the way, you know, very reputable source, so we could potentially be looking at something true, but um, um, probably unsurprising, but it seems clear that this game will be getting the Mario Kart 8 treatment, so I guess DLC. Following appears. Oh man. Um, also, notice the missing square just at the stage selection screen. That's where you can select the DLC. So, um, basically, um, it says like it was confirmed fake. Never mind. Seems like new evidence. It might not be what I was talking about. Never mind. Um, yeah, the legitimacy is definitely a concern, but um, so far, this seems pretty damn cool. I mean, I don't know. It's not on Facebook anymore for some reason. Hmm. I wish we had more information about this. But, um, alright, so this means that there could very well be stage DLC, which is a no surprise, to be honest, because after Mario Kart 8, how are they not going to include something like that with Smash Brothers? So I thought it was probably going to be typical. I'm just concerned about whether this will be the case for things like characters, you know? Most likely not. Like I said, you know, I'm kind of skeptical, I mean, excuse me, I'm kind of, um, skeptical, not spectacle, skeptical of new inclusions of characters because it just doesn't seem like the Sakurai way. Although this man is totally unpredictable, so I could be wrong off my ass. One thing that I'm curious about is the fact that on October 3rd, we're going to be revealing a new character. If we go to the Smash Bros. Nintendo website, um, if we go here, they should be an image of a new character reveal coming up. I don't know if it was on the official Smash website, but um, this could potentially be DLC, but who knows? I mean. I don't know, man. I'm I'm very skeptical at this point. I'll have to see a lot more evidence than just some random post someone made. I mean, even though the image does seem legitimate, that could be faked so easily. So, I mean, it's not even an issue of it being fake or not. It's just, I don't know. That sounds so off the wall, you know? I mean, Smash Bros. having DLC. But then again, at the same time, it is modern day. So, who knows? I could be wrong off my ass. But what do you guys think of this information? Um, I'll be talking in the comments. So, you know, any concerns you have. If you, if you guys manage to find out any new sources, or anything else that confirms this, then definitely post those links in the comments so people can be more aware of what the fuck's going on. Because I would love to be, but I, I'm not really good at hunting down information like that. And I didn't really see too many other articles talking about this, so that's what makes my concern a little bit wavering, because not, there's not a lot of other t articles talking about something which could be potentially huge for Smash Brothers. So um, I'll talk to you in the next video, though. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.